Well, here's some exercises in, uh, or some help with exercises 8-2 with 2D arrays. This is pretty important stuff because you one of your AP questions in the free response part is about 2D arrays. So you want to be good at this stuff. Um, so this first one's not bad. It wants you to add each row in the 2D array with this new thing called sum row. And then traverse the array and print the sum of each row in the 2D array. So you want to make sure <clears throat> um, that you put a print. Don't forget that up here in the main, you need to print uh, the sum of each row. So you could be all focused on this and forget to print the sum of each row. And you get to use this new thing you got. So, you know, um, when, you're, when you're using that, um, you're just going to call this sum row thing on your array up here. All right. So, you know, it would be like, uh, maybe I'll do one of these in the end. System out print line. And then we say uh, sum row. And then we'll call it on array. And then see how it wants an array in a row. And we'll call it on row zero. Right, and then you'll do it again for each row. So don't forget to do that. That's a little step that you could easily forget. And then down here, how do you actually do it? Well, you need to make a variable um, to track the sum. So, you know, something easy like int sum equals zero. And then you need a for loop. uh to iterate through a given row and then make sure you at the end you return an int you return the sum right so you know in this one just make sure you can use a for each loop but i usually like to use regular for loops um just make sure when you do this that you are grabbing the row you're on because they give you the row and they give you the array. So when you're doing this, you'd be like, I is less than, I care about the rows, right? So I want array bracket row. Um, and then I guess I could have done array z bracket zero. Doesn't matter, but why not? Let's do row. And then dot length that makes it the correct size and then um, I plus plus so I'll let you go through and actually you know finish this puppy off on um, yeah on how you actually ch jump through just the rows and not the columns and you want to add that old one to sum and you're using this new variable I to jump through the column part so Take a minute, try to figure that one out, and then don't forget to return at the end. All right, let's jump to the next one. All right, so the second one is a huge problem. Um, it asks you to do a ton of things. I don't know why we didn't split into a couple, but I like this problem. Um, it actually makes you, you know, learn some stuff. Okay, so you don't have to do anything in the tic-tac-toe tester, so all your work is going to be in the tic-tac-toe Java. So we'll jump over there. And look what we got to do. We got to do um, turn, make a get turn. We have to make a print board where it puts these on to help somebody out. The little zero, one, two labels. Then pick location, take turn, check wind, check column, check row, check diagonal. Holy cow, right? That's a lot of stuff. Let's dive into this. All right, so I jumped over to the tic tac toe um, Java uh, file. And then the first thing. Then the first thing it wants you to do is uh, work with this get turn method. This is an easy return statement. I think you're going to be fine with that. The one thing I would suggest is I like I moved this variable up to the top um, because I didn't like that it was down here right above turn. And I also started it out at zero because you want to start your turns at zero, right? There's zero turns going on. Um, the other thing it said was copy your constructor from the tic-tac-toe board. Now, if you didn't get that, you're grabbing this from line four where it creates a new 2D array 
called board, which is a three by three string, which makes sense because tic-tac-toe is a three by three board. And then here is the work from the previous lesson where you have a constructor that's a for loop inside a for loop that puts a bunch of dashes. It's basically all this good stuff with dash, 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 dash. No zeros, ones, and twos, but it would just make a board. It's not printing it out, it just makes it. Okay, so we'll, we'll jump to the next chunk here. Uh, so I think one of the hardest me methods to write is this print board because, well, you have the board, it's created, but you gotta slap these titles on it and they're done in two different ways. One of the easiest thing to do is um, print a line at the top to label uh, the columns, right? That's going to be easy, right? You're going to just put a zero, one, two. Now you do have to space it over. It looks like it's two spaces over. So when you do this, just, you know, maybe put two spaces. You'll be able to tell if if it's wrong later. Um, that's easy, right? You just print that. But the next stuff, you have to get it to not only print this stuff, but you have to get it to print the row number before you even start printing out what's from your board, right? Remember this guy's called board. So you gotta, um, you gotta start each row with the row numbers, but it's in a for loop because you're going to go through each one. You're basically going to go through this one, print it, go through this one, and at the front of it, you're going to put a zero, then a one, then a two. So we kind of need that for loop thing going on. Um, you know, maybe you're going to go int row. I like to do this because, you know, then I don't wonder what I'm doing. And then row ah, uh, is less than board dot length. Now, could you write less than three for this one? Yeah, because the tic tac toe board isn't changing. But I like to do this because um, then it works even if I had a 4x4 four four board. I don't know. Maybe you're going to make up a new tic-tac-toe game. I'm not going to limit you, man. Okay, so we want to make our original for loop. And then inside of that, we're going to do another for loop. Um, but what I would suggest is before you do this other for loop for the columns, right? Because you're basically going through this guy right here. Um, which is kind of, right, column, it's kind of our standard double for loop with a 2D array. Uh, column is less than, and here you want board bracket zero. You grab the first row and then ask how long is that, because that will give you how many columns you have. Right, so this is our standard for loop, but we're not dealing with something standard because um, we need to print this zero before and then go through and do this. So right before your for loop, we want to, oh, not print line, but just regular print. We want to print um, the row number because we start off with row zero, we want to label it and then you need a space, right? So maybe concatenate a space and that is to, print to label each row first. And then we'll do our for loop to um, print each dash. So I'll leave that part for you to figure out how to print each dash and space it out correctly. But you know, you have most of what you need. Just don't forget after it goes through this one to put um, Put something in here to jump to the next line. Otherwise, you're going to get yourself in trouble, and you'll put like all nine straight across because it'll just keep on keeping on. Okay. Um, all right. So that one's probably the toughest one. Okay. And then pick location is pretty. It's not that hard. It's just uh, at least the way I do it is a, cr a really big boolean. Um, because all you need, um, is to check a bunch of things at once. And if it's a valid place now to be valid, they're going to give you a row and a column and to be valid, it needs to 
first of all, b between a row 0 and 2. It needs to be a column between 0 and 2. And then it needs to have a dash, because if it has an x or an o, you're not allowed to put something there. So I would put like if, and then good stuff, right? So we got our long boolean here for good stuff, and then you're going to have, we're going to, if that happens, we're going to return true. Um, if it's not, you can just put else, or you can just put it after here, right? It won't get to this part if it returns true. So it needs to go through and check if the row and column they picked is, is good. Um, so yeah, you're going to need um, a bunch of things here. You're going to be like, oh, okay, if, if row is greater than zero and you're going to have like tons of ands. Row is less than three, or sorry, yeah, less than three. And, and then you do it for columns. And then also make sure that it's a dash there, right? But be careful because these are uh, strings. So make sure you're like uh, the board space, bracket row, bracket column dot equals because if you said equals equals it'll show up wrong but if it dot equals the dash then it's a blank space and it's not an x or an o so you're gonna have to have a pretty crazy long um, boolean here okay and if all that good stuff works this one's not done make sure you finish that up if all that good stuff works then it's a valid place um, and then Alright, and then you got take turn. This one's not bad because we've done even and odd before. So you're basically going to do like your if it's even, right? Then you're going to print an X, right? Just, yeah, you're not printing an X, you're changing the board to an X. So make sure you do, you know, board row um, and then column because they're entering a row and a column. If board row column is it if it's even you're going to make it equal you know x i think it's capital x so be careful on that and then else right you don't need to say if odd because if it's if it's not even um if it's odd you're going to do that thing with an o but one thing i did want to warn you about make sure you also advance turn variable one Okay, a lot of people forget that, um, and then you're, you're, you take a turn and it wouldn't actually do anything, so make sure you're not one of those people. All right. All right, and the last thing I'm going to help you with here is the check row, because if you do check row, you can do check column, and you can do check diagonal, and then you can do check win, which is a combination of all three of these being true. So there are a bunch of booleans, but I'll help you with check row, and then see how that goes. So for this one... Okay, since we're only going through a row at a time, we don't have to worry about the columns. We only need one for loop, right? So we're going to say int row um, equals zero row less than uh, board dot length. I don't need to do the other one. Um, and row plus plus, right? So we're going to check each row. And what we're checking for is... Um, I want to know if all the three things in the row match. So I want to know if the column 0, column 1, and column 2 match. But before that, you have to must check uh, if there is an X or 0, or X or O there first. So the first thing you should do is say if um, the board... Oh my goodness. So before you do your if statement to check if all three of those match, you first need to say, first of all, I want to make sure it does not equal the blank space. So you can just put the not and then say row in the first column, because if the first one is a blank, then you don't have to check if they match. Okay, 
Okay, so check if the first, so we already made sure it doesn't equal the space. Now if the first one equals the next one over and the first one equals the last one, then you have a match and return true, else return false.